Welcome to 3D Survey Tutorials. Today we're going to show you the functionality of the bounding box. This is a useful tool for two reasons. First, you can freely move sections left, right, up or down and the tool lets you easily inspect the data inside the box whilst ignoring everything outside your box selection. Second, sliding two opposite bounding box panes together will give you a 3D profile of the surface model. To move through the 3D model, press CTRL, right-click the bounding box pane and you'll be able to slide it in any direction and explore all the sections on the fly. Turning on the height map will visualize the height differences even more clearly. You can use bounding box in either point cloud tab or DSM tab. It is possible to inspect the differences between several point clouds or surfaces, of course. For example, if I load two point clouds from the same area but measured at a different time and use bounding box, I can clearly see the difference. This is what it looks like in the DSM tab. Go and select a part of the model and color surfaces by layers for even more impressive results. Okay folks, thanks for watching and see you in our next tutorial.